For much of the past decade, the F-22 Raptor's future seemed uncertain. Once hailed as the pinnacle of air superiority technology, the stealth fighter faced what many called a rolling retirement. Limited production numbers, high maintenance costs, and the Pentagon's shifting focus toward multi-role aircraft led to the perception that the F-22 was a costly relic, still potent but destined to fade quietly as newer jets like the F-35 took center stage. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Takeoff Channel. Today, that narrative has shifted dramatically. The F-22 Raptor is no longer treated as a gradually retiring platform, but as a critical asset in America's strategic arsenal. The change is driven by global security realities, rapid advances in adversary capabilities, and the Air Force's reassessment of the aircraft's unique strengths in an era of great power competition. From the apex predator to a question mark. When the F-22 entered service in 2005, it instantly became the most advanced air-to-air -air combat aircraft in the world. With unmatched stealth, super cruise capability, and high maneuverability, the Raptor was designed to dominate the skies against peer threats. But the program was cut short in 2009, after just 187 operational aircraft were produced, far fewer than 750 originally envisioned. The official reasoning included the high cost per unit, maintenance challenges, and the belief that no near-term adversary could challenge U.S. air superiority. By the mid-2010s, the Air Force even discussed retiring older F-22s early, focusing instead on the F-35 Lightning II and next-generation fighter projects. Many analysts warned that this was short-sighted, but the perception persisted that the Raptor was a platform past its prime. A world that changed overnight. Geopolitical realities have transformed that outlook. Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022 and China's rapidly expanding military capabilities, including advanced stealth fighters like the J-20, have reignited the need for absolute dominance in air superiority. The Pentagon now faces a world where contested airspace is not hypothetical but probable in any major conflict. The F-22, with its ability to enter heavily defended areas, detect and eliminate enemy aircraft before being seen, and control the aerial battle space, has become central to deterring these threats. Unlike the F-35, which was designed as a versatile multi-role platform, the Raptor was built for one primary mission, total air dominance. In potential high-intensity conflicts against peer adversaries, that mission is more relevant than ever. Upgrades and Modernization Recognizing this, the Air Force has launched an aggressive modernization program for the F-22 fleet. Upgrades include advanced radar systems, improved electronic warfare suites, enhanced data links to work seamlessly with other platforms, and provisions for carrying next-generation air-to-air missiles like the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile. Stealth coatings and materials have also been improved to reduce maintenance time while preserving radar evading performance. The goal is to ensure the Raptor remains not just competitive, but decisively superior in any aerial engagement through the 2030s and possibly beyond. A strategic asset in a networked force. The F-22's resurgence is not only about raw performance. In the emerging concept of joint all-domain command and control, the F-22's sensor fusion and data sharing capabilities allow it to serve as a critical node in a vast combat network. Oh, 
it can detect threats far beyond visual range, relay targeting data to other assets, and coordinate with fifth and sixth generation systems in ways that amplify the entire force's effectiveness. In exercises, F-22s have proven capable of quarterbacking complex engagements, guiding F-35s, drones, and even surface-based missile systems toward optimal intercepts. This makes the Raptor an indispensable element of modern air strategy, even as newer platforms come online. Why rolling retirement is off the table. The Air Force now sees early retirement as a strategic risk. While the next generation air dominance fighter is in development, it will not arrive in significant numbers until the late 2030s. Retiring the F-22 early would create a capability gap during a period when U.S. adversaries are aggressively fielding advanced fighters and long-range missile systems. Instead, the Air Force plans to keep the Raptor at the forefront of its air dominance mission, using it as both a deterrent and a bridge to the next generation of fighters. The emphasis is not just on maintaining the fleet, but on ensuring it remains at peak performance. Symbol and Signal The shift in the status of the F-22 sends a clear signal. The United States is committed to preserving air superiority in the face of growing challenges. The Raptor, once seen as a technological marvel ahead of its time but with limited future relevance, is now recognized as a crucial tool for shaping the aerial battlefield of the 21st century. In many ways, the story of the F-22's resurgence is a cautionary tale about underestimating the persistence of great power competition. Technology that was once deemed excessive for the threats of the day has become essential for the conflicts of tomorrow. From rolling retirement to top priority, the F-22 Raptor's journey reflects both the unpredictability of global security and the enduring need for platforms that can dominate in the most challenging combat environments. For the foreseeable future, the Raptor is not going quietly into history, it is soaring back to the center of America's defense strategy.